why I hate the law. Now, I should clarify in case um, any of the fans are watching, it's not a whole law that I hate, it's just a very specific part of Her Majesty's government, DVLA to be precise. So I hadn't been driving my car for a while and I hadn't been there in a while. So I get back and I look at my car and there's thousands of fines and tickets and it's got a boot on the wheel and they're saying, oh, we're gonna tow your car away, your car's no longer ours and we're gonna send our debt collectors and we're gonna take you to court. And I'm like, what's, go <laughs> what's going on guys? I thought I sorted this out. Um, so I phoned them and I'm like, Hey, uh, something, something's happened, I don't know what's going on with my car. And they're like, yeah, you don't have tax on your car, so it's no longer yours. I'm like, wait, what? I, th I thought I sorted this all out. Because if you remember, if you watched my Why the AA Sucks, initially I was annoyed with the AA, but I probably should have been more annoyed with the DVLA. Because as that story finished, I thought the whole saga was finished. A uh, quick summary for you, um, I had moved house, lost my uh, log book for my car and then I didn't have car insurance that had run out. So apparently that particular set of things mixed together is a weird scenario that the DVLA is not used to. Um, when I phoned them and I said, can we sort this out? They're like, no, 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 you have to post us the application form with a check. I'm like, what are you talking about? Can I just do it now? They're like, no, 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 it's the only way to do it. So I had to get some application, print it off, fill it in, buy a checkbook, whatever that is, um, write a check for the first time in my life, put it inside the thing, post it off to the DVD. And then they're like, here we go, here's your logbook, all sorts. I'm like, okay, thank goodness, fine. Out the way, saga done. And then this car thing happens, and then I'm like, okay, fine, 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 just pay for everything. I, I will take the boot off. I don't want you to take my car away. I'm trying to figure this all out. <sighs> and they're like, okay. You have to take like loads of money from yours. You, we're going to take your deposit, and we're going to take all of the fines that we've given you to send out all of these notifications. I'm like, yeah, whatever, just just take it all. I'm sure you know what you're doing. And then I'm like, I'll sort out the tax, which I thought I'd done already. And then can we please get on with my life? So I go to the DV layer, and then I'm like, um, I think I need to tax my vehicle. And this time they go, Do you have your logbook? And I go, oh, Yeah, well, I do actually have a logbook because you sent me one. You said you taxed my vehicle. But anyway, here's my logbook number. And then they're like, Oh, yeah, yeah, your tax is uh, all paid up. You're good to go. And I'm like, Well, I mean, fair enough. I know that it should have been done, but apparently you guys don't talk between your different departments because uh, somebody thought that I hadn't paid it and stuck a boot on my car. And you're telling me, Oh, yeah, it's all good. No need to pay any money. It's all up to date. Come Come on, get your actors straight together. This is now an end screen. So I'm gonna try and keep very, very still. And you're gonna see something pop up down here, which is gonna be a way for you to subscribe. Or you could just click one of the playlists that are up here and then carry on watching some of my videos. Good to see you.